Alright, so now we're going to take a look at how we can remove an item from a custom array list by calling this remove method. And what this method does is it takes one parameter, idx, which is the index of the item that we want to remove. It then removes the item and then returns said item. Uh, now an important note here, in this example our return type is of object type double rather than of primitive data type double. And the reason we've chosen the object type double as our return type is so that we have the option to return null in the event that we fail to pass a valid index into our remove function. Now, if we had chosen to use the primitive data type double as our return type, then we may have chosen to use a zero or a negative one as our return values uh, in the event that we failed to pass a valid index. But the problem with this is that zero or negative one may be valid items within our list, in which case returning uh, these values does not clearly indicate that we have failed to pass a valid index and that no value was found at the index passed. But if we return null, then this clearly indicates that no value was found. Um, yeah, so that's why using the uh, object type double uh, as our return type is a lot better and a lot clearer than using the primitive data type double in this example. Uh, Alright, so taking a look at how this remove method works. Uh, so of course, first we check to make sure we've passed a valid index, and if we haven't, then we return null. We then create the field item to remove, which equals idx. So in other words, it just equals, sorry, it equals data idx. Um, so it just equals the item at the index passed. Uh, we then have this for loop for int i equals idx, i is less than items n items minus 1, i plus plus, data i equals data i plus 1. Uh, so what this for loop is doing, uh, when we return, oh, sorry, when we remove an item from our list, we then need to take all of the items above said item in the list and move them down one index in order to fill in the space from the item removed. So you can see here, starting from uh, into i equals idx, so i equals the index of the value removed, uh, for every item data i, uh, it is now going to equal the value at data i plus 1. Uh, we then decrement n items by 1 uh, in order to, uh, to show that we now have one less item in our list, and we then return our removed item. Um, all right, so you can see here I've added a bunch of breakpoints to our method here, and you can see up here I've called the remove method on our previously created list. Uh, so let's run this through the debugger so we can see a lot more clearly how this method works. All right, so starting uh, here. So before we uh, move into our remove method, we have the following list and you can see it contains five values and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the value at index 2 which is 70. So if we step through into our remove method so you can see uh, first we're going to check to make sure that um, the index passed is valid it is so we're going to move on and create our item to remove field our item to remove is 70. Uh, so now we're going to step through this for loop so Starting from i equals 2, if we step through here, you can see what has happened is i equals 2. So um, index 2, data i, data 2, now equals data i plus 1, which is 30. So now uh, data 2 has the same value as data i plus 1, 30. Now if we step through again, i equals 3. So data 3 equals data i plus 1. If we step through, you can see data 3 now equals the value of data i plus 1, which was 4. So uh, data 3 and 4 both have the value of 20. So now we're going to go ahead and decrement our list by 1. So in other words, what we're going to do effectively, n items uh, is going to decrement by 1, and we're going to remove the final value uh, from our list and you can see when we do that and we print our list we now have a list with the contents 10, 90, 30 and 20 so um, 70 was removed. 
Uh, so that's just a quick look at how we can utilize the remove method on our custom array list. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.